I just realized I never got a video of our semi-finished bunkhouse. We actually hosted family in here a couple weekends ago. And anyway, um, we've decided, um, well, we're going to have to use it as storage for right now because we're moving our <laughs> utility shed down the hill um, so we can put batteries and our inverter in it. Um, but this is what we finished up on the bunkhouse. So we used, we used six, six foot by five and three quarter inch cedar plank fencings to do our trim. We just used miscellaneous products that we had laying around. Um, we used, um, what is this called? It's like some kind of thin cabinet tree. Um, it's wood. It's very thin. Um, but we, we decided to use that because of the cost of wood. Each of these was like 20 bucks yeah, a sheet. So thin. Well, yeah, but less expensive than tongue and groove. Can I put the flooring on the table? I don't think the table will hold the flooring. Just spread it out. Okay. okay. Spread it out, baby. Oh. Whoops. Oh, yeah. And we got this little indoor heater, which kept our guests very warm last week. And our couch that we got from um, <laughs> Wayfair that I wouldn't recommend because um, it's like paper thin and um, isn't very heavy duty. But what do you expect? Um, but anyway... So Tim made the ladders to get into the loft um, and this one's at a slant. We were originally going to put a breakfast bar in there, but because we realized that that loft is pretty tight for two people, we're going to try to keep our eye out for some kind of sleeper sofa right there or a futon. Um, because where we positioned this ladder is plenty for a queen size fit. So um, we're just keeping our eye out for a queen size futon or sleeper sofa, something that would keep our guests warm uh, or comfortable and, and stuff. And then we have a fire, um, a wood burning, a tiny wood burning fire stove we're gonna be putting in here. So we got to leave this space a little bit clean, but, oh, this kills me. So I'll go up and show the loft. I haven't climbed this ladder yet. Oh, that was a lot easier than the other one. Just that slight. Yeah. That's the dead flies. Yeah. Yeah, once we, we have the insulation up over there, we, we need to get some something to finish up the walls, but you know, budget, <laughs> those damn budgets. Um, and then we also need to figure out how these, I don't see any cause it's been cold. We got snow here, um, but we had the hornets or wasps in the windows. Um, I mean, they weren't pests because it's so cold, but when our guests were here, but we definitely want to take care of that before we have guests again. Woo! Very sturdy ladder, honey. Good job. Whoa! Of course, you need to know how to climb a ladder. And, eh, I'll show you the other loft. This ladder needs to be kicked out, I think. Whoosh! Yeah, it's a smaller loft. We should probably put stuff up here instead of down there. But, anywho, that's that. Huh. Oof, yeah, that is a really hard one to climb. Let's talk to management about that. And we will be, so this is what we did on this wall. We took fence planks and kind of went up 
And we're gonna do that same thing underneath here, going that way. And then also <clears throat> underneath here, closing these holes and, and stuff. So anyhow, um, oh, and I made that. <laughs> I got these rounds from my mom and stepdad's um, backyard. We had to go and fall some trees. And so um, we did that. And, and so, yeah, that was fun. But anyway, this is the bone cows. And this is what about, I can't remember now. Oh, it is. Honey, it's eight by 16. 16. So, yeah, we, for the roof, the ceiling in here, we had just enough cedar planks to kind of line it. And then we had these leftover um, metal roofing panels from our chicken coop back home. So, um, clean those up and we used them so you make do with what you got isn't that right baby yep yep you do it with me <laughs> i do <laughs> <laughs> as you do me okay 